everyone, Bian for Media Makeup. So it's the second day of fashion week and I feel a bit lethargic you say, but I'm onto it today. So what we're going to be doing, because I'm dressed by Talisia Designs and I've got a grey and black outfit and I've teamed it with some shocking pink stockings. So I've gone for this makeup today. I could have gone for the black but I just wanted to change it up a little bit instead of just same old same old. It's a bit too easy. It's fashion week. We've got to step outside the mould. So my concern today is that I'm starting shows at 10 a.m. and we're going through till 7 p.m. So it's a long time wearing makeup. So the long, long, um, longevity of my makeup application is really important today. I've cleansed, toned, moisturized. I've put some eye drops in, done my foundation and concealer and a little bit of powder. So the other thing that I'm also going to be using today is I'm going to be using what is called a MAC paint pot and this one is called Painterly um, I've had it for so long and um, that's why the writing has come off but as you can see I've had it for ages and I don't actually use it that often so um, that's why the paint is rubbed off so what we're going to do I'm just going to pop a little bit on my finger and pop it across. Now usually I just use a concealer but it's really important because we're getting photographed that my eye makeup doesn't require touching up because once we start working there's no room for worrying about hair and makeup. So you can see that it keeps it really nice and fresh, makes it pop, it, it does have a velvety texture and it does keep your eye makeup on a lot longer. There are loads of them on the market, have a look around. I'm going to grab a mascara wand and just push the eyes, uh, the brow here upwards and also get out any of the old makeup um, powder that has gotten on there and I'm using my brown bark eyeshadow and a wet slant brush and popping the product on either side and we're just going to start at the top of the brow and do small dots and work our way along. Even though my eyebrows do look pretty much perfect, I still like to fill them in and um, make sure that they're super duper perfect and then just give them a little bit of a push up. Okay, always keep pushing your brows up. It gives you that beautiful facelift that everybody is after. Now the next product I'm going to be using is a citrine this is another L'Oreal um, Infinity Wear product and a 21, I'll just let that focus, and a 217 MAC brush. And this product, as you can see, it's grey, but it has an iridescent reflect of pink, and I absolutely love that. And it works for, works for so many. Um, looks that I have. I love grey and pink together so let's just get that product on all over just the top of the eyelid. I'm not going to put it on the bottom because we don't need to at this stage. So out to the end of the eyebrow and the end of the eye and this time I'm actually going to go into this area here the note bridge of the nose and just put the product in there. So see how um, that just makes my bone structure pop a little bit more so don't be shy about actually going into that area unless you have quite a narrow nose and it's already quite strong then you don't need to just get rid of that eyelash now we'll keep that to the side because we may need it later on I've got a red earth flat eyeshadow brush and the dark color today that I'm going to be using is called Divine Night and this is a MAC eyeshadow and it's kind of like a um, iridescent gunmetal grey colour and I'm popping the product on the brush nice and flat and I'm working in that area there can we see that okay and I this area here of the eye, uh, the eye to the nose I want to keep that relatively free of colour because that's where we're going to put our iridescent pink afterwards. So let's just get that product on there. Now with a lot of eyeshadows sometimes it's better to put 
layers on and it just gives it more depth depth so if you're finding that oh I put eyeshadow on it looks pretty washed out in photographs or on film or in daytime everyday general then that may be why because um, you're not putting enough layers on I'm also going to bring um, in my point brush same divine night color and I'm going to go up into the contour area up to the middle of the pupil out to the edge of the eye pointing my brush flat I'm not using my brush like that I'm using it nice and flat okay and let's just take that upwards see how with the smaller brush I've got a lot more control so I know where the product is going and I like that so let's just take it up to where we need it's fashion week we can go a little bit more hard out okay and then we come in with our original 217 with the uh, this color up the top and we are not touching this area here we are touching that line and we are attempting to blend that line out okay it's a little bit like scribbling just get in there and blend away there we go okay and I'm using my concealer brush just to clean up any product I want that going upwards now if you find that um, this area here doesn't have enough depth in it and then you can go for a darker matte product today I am going to use Brune yep it's just your um your basic brown flat brown color and my point brush again same point brush and I'm just gonna go into the contour line and put a little bit more depth in there now the reason I'm not using black is because I don't want the makeup looking hard I'm staying away from black today because that is too easy anyone can put black on right the next color that we're going to be using these are called stacks stacked and um, I they're loose powders they're extremely iridescent uh, so you've got to be careful with them I'm using a really small detail brush so we take the lid off and then what I do see that's how they come and I just pop it into the lid of the other tray now I put that somewhere safe so it doesn't spill anywhere I get my brush and I press my brush on and that's how much product it picks up which obviously isn't a lot and um, let's just see what it does okay need a lot more than that you just got to be really careful okay I've got that much picking it up and putting it on because you don't want fallout all over your beautiful foundation and you press it press 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 into the skin okay just grab a little bit more product here we go that's better so you can see how layering gives it the depth that I'm after now I've gone a little bit too far that way I actually want it to be more in between um, this area so what I'm going to do I'm going to get my point brush because it's more detailed work and just push the product back over that way let's grab the flat brush and just go over the top of it that's better and that's okay because we just we need to blend that area in a bit anyway okay so let's just carefully get into the crease make sure that it's got enough pop happening and that this line here is blended okay now I've got a teeny bit of fallout that's what we call fallout under my eyes so I take my latte my Jane Iredale latte and my big powder brush and I just flick it away okay easy as that 
Now, I've got a basic brown Jane Idol eyeliner and I'm going into the watermark. I like the Jane Idol uh, lip liners and eyeliners, you know, the mineral makeup, but um, they're a really good price point in comparison to other products out there on the market. So give them a go. You can get them from Top Beauty Therapist. And I'm starting from the outside edge going up to this area of my eye is my point and the beginning of my lashes gets a little bit thinner as you get towards the nose a little bit thicker there and I'm also going to be using a silver plate and this is a MAC eyeliner and uh, I hardly ever use it because it's you know it's not a black or a brown so I just heat up the product by rubbing it on my hand and let's start from the inside point and just join it together with the black just to give it a little bit of pop 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 taking my um, point brush better just give it a little bit of a clean and I think what I'll do is I'll use the end of my eyeliner just to put a bit of color on there and we're just going to blend the outside line of the eyeliner. There we go. So today I am going to be using a, a Bobbi Brown, Bobbi Brown mascara. It's in black. Okay, it's got a really nice um, wand to it. And let's start at the roots and wiggle it up to the ends. Wiggle, wiggle. And again on the bottom. From the roots to the ends. You can never really have enough mascara. Just as long as your eyelashes are separated, then it'll look beautiful. I better put the lid back on this product because I do not want it spilling everywhere. Now, next I'm going to be doing my blusher and I am using a MAC color called Dolly Mix. It's a nice iridescent pink. Now that is an iridescent colour. That is a matte colour. See how it's got no shine in it? So, And that has shine in it. So matte, iridescent. That's the difference between the two. And let's take our blusher brush. Product on either side. Do the Cabbage Patch doll starting at the point that's parallel to your pupil and upwards. And because everything else is kind of a little bit darker up the top, I need the blusher to be quite full on. I have a lot of depth so that it pieces my entire outfit together with the stockings. Okay, that works. And let's just get our fluffy brush with our latte powder on it, or any powder that you're using and just go around the outside edge and blend that in. Um, I am using for my lip liner today, it is uh, Rose. It's quite a soft colour. This is a Jane Iredale lip pencil. I used to have this really cool sort of 80s fluoro colour but I can't find it and I do have a tendency to hang on to these old colours because once they're made, the companies, they don't remake them and you just you can't find them again and as a hair and makeup artist you need products that have a lot of depth and a lot of pop and even though neons are huge for the summer I haven't seen in many neon um, liners out at the moment so let's start from the inside point little dots work our way down and from the outside in stretch the lips out So I just made a mistake there and I put my finger and I pushed it inwards because that way you can get rid of the car. And this is a little bit wet in that area. Take the moisture away. Okay, 
so if you make any mistakes push it into where you want the color to be and something else that's a little bit old school that you guys might not be aware of these are lipsticks and I've got heaps of heaps and heaps of lipsticks and I just went to spotlight and you get the little containers you get your lipstick and you scrape it into the little mold and you put it in the microwave for 20 seconds and you let them melt and then you put them on your kitchen counter and they will harden so all those lipsticks where you can't get into the bottom of the product this is the way to do it so lip liner stretch the lips out and going inwards And I don't think I need to clean up my line, but... Okay, so when I apply the lip, lip liner, a lipstick, sorry, I use the brush nice and flat, big and flat, okay? When I want to look, make my line a lot sharper, I use it on the side, okay? How's that looking? Piecing it all together. Now, the last thing that I'm going to be using, and I don't use it very often, is a MAC Fixer Spray. Okay? And this product literally will keep my makeup on all day and fix it in place. So, it has a little twist lid. Okay? So, untwist it and then just spray. And can you see how it's just landed on the skin and it makes it a little bit wet and we just leave that to dry and um, it smells like cucumber it's really beautiful so media makeup fans that's it I hope that you like it and hopefully it'll look a little bit different to everything else that's happening at fashion week so thank you to Talisia Designs for my outfit today and I would also like to thank Snapstar Media the company that I work for doing the fashion blogs and I will see you at Fashion Week, go to www.mediamakeup1.com. You have a good day.